Hello everyone. One of our viewers has made a series of questions about the Holocaust. And as she is Austrian, I am going to paraphrase her questions the best that I can and put them to Metatron one by one. So I invite my I Am Presence to descend within me. And my Holy Christ Self. And I ask them to take full dominion and control over my being. As I align with them, my personalities, body elemental, a new spirit. And now all parts of my being are within the energy sphere of my I Am Presence and in full balance, harmony, and alignment. I am now ready for today's message. And I will begin by asking the first of the questions. In Austria and in Germany, they have memorials in remembrance of the liberation of Auschwitz 70 years ago. And so there are many documentaries on TV talking about those who survived. However, these new very detailed information is shattering my being from the innermost core. So these are my questions for Lord Metatron. Why do the Jews have to suffer so much throughout most time, even from the beginning of this planet, and especially during the Holocaust? Beloved, I will start by saying to you that it is not only the Jewish people who have suffered, but most peoples have at some time been under the dictatorship of another country of another culture and many evil acts and atrocities have been committed by those reigning entities over the people whose land and life they have stolen from. I will also add that almost every country has been on both sides of this situation. They have been both oppressor and oppressed. And so as time has unfolded for those of you on earth, Each country that acts as an oppressor has eventually a time when it is oppressed. And I know that many of you do not want to hear this or believe or accept this. But most peoples are not simply good or bad. They are a combination of both and they have periods in the duration of their civilization in which they are both. And so the Holocaust was a working out 
of much karma, beloveds. It does not mean that there were right and wrong countries in this, but it was the playing out of karmic debt so that the world could eventually move into a state of peace. This state of peace is not yet present all over the earth, but it is growing within the hearts of many. And I know that one of the later questions is about what to do with the guilt. Because many of you who lived through this have feelings of guilt or rage or shame or whatever the emotion is that you identify with in relation to occurrences such as these which are still continuing to happen to a more limited group of peoples, but it is still happening on the earth. She also asks, when the Jews, no, when Hitler uh, asked the Jews to immigrate to another country, there were no other countries that wanted them. This is also the divine playing out of karma, beloved. And remember that you personally are in no way responsible for this. And so there is no need to feel guilt about what has happened in the past. It is important until you come to a full understanding of the perfection of all events on this planet that you are able to forgive all those who have done harm to any other human being. This will release you from the feelings of guilt, beloved. She also says that Churchill and Roosevelt knew about the killings, but did not interfere and did not respond to the Jewish people's wishes And once again, this is part of the karma playing out, beloved. She says she cannot understand the extreme cruelty the German and Austrian Nazis developed. And she wonders why no one mentions Austria as a former Nazi country. Please understand, beloveds, that it is not God that creates this extreme cruelty. It is mankind. And it is part of mankind's lesson to learn that this type of behavior is never acceptable and should be stopped at all costs as it eventually was. But these minds that created such atrocities were very deranged. 
completely separated from their own humanness. Humans are capable of being much crueler than any animal ever was. And so trust in me, beloveds, when I tell you that these beings who performed such atrocities, who were the creators of them, are being taken care of. If they are willing to undergo a total transformation of their being, and if they are willing to understand all that they did, and to never engage in anything like this ever again, the pathway of liberation is left open for them. But there are those who are stubbornly determined to not accept the reality that even what with what they have done, they can still be forgiven, then they will not be allowed to reincarnate on this earth at any time. They will be taken to another place where they will undergo what might be called the second death, where their soul, which contains the memories of all of their lives, will be dissolved. This is a kind of blessing for them, beloveds. For it is not possible for them to pay back the karmic debt that they engendered, mostly because they do not believe that they can, nor want to. And her last question is, did the Jews ever speak about or apologize for the crucifixion of Jesus, or do they still wait for their Messiah? It is never wise to speak of a people as a whole and imagining that they all think and want the same things. For this is not true. Many who were born as Jews during the time of Jesus' life upon the earth have subsequently had lives as Christians, as Muslims, as Buddhists, and they have fully gone beyond the attachment to their identity as a Jew. There are still at this time many Jews who are still waiting for their Messiah. So I hope this answers your question, your questions, beloved. I will say to you and to all of you that are concerned about what is happening on the earth at this time. That it is all under God's control. Everything is happening just as it should at this time. So that every human upon this planet 
can choose a path of peace, of love, of enlightenment. So do not bother yourselves with trying to understand why such and such a thing is happening to such and such a people. It is not necessary for you to understand the unfoldment of these things, beloved. What is important is that you attain peace within your own being so that you can be a force of peace in the world. It is necessary for you to become a loving person so that you can be a vehicle for love in the world. So do not be distressed nor concerned with anything that is happening over which you have no control. Simply be a source of love, of light, of peace, and of joy for all the earth. And soon it will be manifest for all. I love you. I thank you for listening to this video. I bless you. I am Metatron.